Adam 12, one Adam 12. This is Adam 12. It stars Martin Milner as Officer Pete Malloy, Kent McCord as Officer Jim Reed. One Adam 12, roger. This black and white patrol car has an overhead valve V8 engine. It develops 325 horsepower at 4,800 RPM. It accelerates from zero to 60 in seven seconds. It has a top speed of 120 miles an hour. The automobile has two shotgun racks, one attached to the bottom portion of the front seat, one in the vehicle trunk. You want me to drive? Now on BTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Hello there, I'm John Malos, and welcome to this edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this Thursday morning. Glad to have along a singer in the house. He will soothe you and entertain you in every way, shape, and form. That's right, 436 Me TV Option 11. Do turn down the sound if you call in. We're back in a moment. Welcome back to our program today. Spotlight is on entertainment and I get this question all the time from a lot of people and they say, how can I watch your show? Uh, how can I watch the reruns of your show? That's mainly the big question. Okay, the question is answered. It's on your screen. That is the answer. YouTube.com forward slash then me TV Fresno and then if you click on recent episodes, you can pretty much scan uh, the, the landscape there and watch just about every episode that we've done. There are a few that are not on YouTube, but most of the recent ones are. We've done more than 450 shows here. This is our third year here on MeTV Fresno. Today it is the Spotlight on Entertainment, and I'm so happy to have a singer, an entertainer today in the house. He's been around these parts for a long time. You know, he's one of these guys that has a very soothing voice. He's very relaxing and very enjoyable to listen to. And that's what I want you to enjoy today. If you want to sit back, you don't want to call in, you just want to listen, that's okay too. But if you do call in, turn down the sound at 436 Me TV Option 11. He's been singing in these parts for many years. Right now, every Friday, you can catch his act at the Palms from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. And if you show up there, you know, you might have something to eat, you might have something to drink, maybe you just want to come for the entertainment. This is what you will see. Live in our studio right now, looking like a million bucks. He's always dressed very dapper. Oh, look at that suit. It's great. Jim Lyons, he's a singer, he's an entertainer, and what a good voice, a great voice. I have that voice, too, in the shower. Not really. I, I can't even sing like that in the shower. But uh, he is here to talk about his uh, music career and here to talk about where you can see him, uh, when and how long he's been singing, and talk about the entertainment industry as a whole. You know, today is the 50th anniversary uh, of when the Beatles appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show. We'll even touch on that. 436 Me TV Option 11. I'm glad to have in the house today Jim Lyons. And your phone calls are important, so call in back in just a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new fast 
most efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. Save now on Frigidaire's Advanced Affinity Laundry Pair. Let Frigidaire save you energy, water, and time. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. Yep, today is the 50th anniversary and um, you know, sad to say that I do remember the Beatles on Ed Sullivan that first day. That's how old I, I'm giving my age away now. But, you know, if you want to reminisce about that and call in and talk about that, too, as we talk to Jim Lyons, it's always good to see you. Man. You always look like a million bucks to me. Well, thank you. I mean, you. I wish I looked as good. <laughs> <laughs> so I do so, try to look... Um, Presentable. Well, you this look is just than a that. uniform. Oh, Thank okay. you. All right. So wait, let me let me ask you about the Beatles just real quick here. So, uh, you know, I know you saw the the event fifty years yes, ago. Yes, I did. I so, watched it on television. Yeah, little black and white screen. Yes. <laughs> what what do you what do you think now, fifty years later, uh, as you reflect on that, being a singer, an entertainer yourself? Uh, the Beatles. Um, there's no doubt they were an influence on me. They were an influence on everyone that I know. Um, I like their music. I sing their music. I perform about three or four of their songs almost every time I perform. Which one? Uh, 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 I want to hold your hand. Of course. Only I do my own <laughs> arrangement of it. And she yeah. loves you. I like that one very much. And uh, uh, Ticket to Ride. I like that. I like um, Eleanor Rigby. And of course, I like Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Ticket to Ride. I like that one yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, you have to be careful when you do that. When it, uh, a lot of songs, uh, even though it was very slight with the Beatles, they weren't from America, obviously, but yeah. they were uh, the times, the, the politically speaking, they had lyrics in there that, uh, you know, shades of, as they call it, um, hate Ashbury and things like that. Um, do you about think they the shocked America when they, when they made that appearance? Well, they did in Kansas City. I'll tell you that. That's, that's where you're from. That's where I was at the time. And... Um, all of our billboards, they just said the Beatles are coming, but they didn't say what the Beatles was. They didn't. You talking we about bug or? <laughs> that's right. And we didn't know until the day they arrived that it was a, a music group. Yeah. Now you said they had an influence on you. In what way? Um, that it was all right to do songs that had meaningful lyrics and um, and still be cool. Uh, I like songs that have meaningful lyrics, and uh, I think all of their songs did. Uh, so should a song have a message? I think so. Uh, and as a matter of fact, but without a message, it's just, uh, it's just dance noise, as far as I'm concerned. I, I, it's the lyrics uh, that, that I write first. I, I write music, and I, I start with the lyrics, and uh, then the tune actually wraps itself around the lyrics kind of automatically. Let me ask you about two ends of the spectrum. You've got, you know, you, you mentioned just noise, okay, mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't really have a message. All right, I, I think of, of, of two, two uh, I guess, two groups. I think of, uh, first of all, let me ask you about KC and the Sunshine Band. Is he oh. just noise, or is there a message no, there? Uh, there's, it, um, you said noise, he's the first guy I thought of. The, the message in songs like that, which are actually written by computers practically, right. Uh, the message is, is in the very first lyric out of their mouth, and the, the rest of it is just uh, very good rhythm. It's the bass players and the, and the no drummers. There's no message in there, in no, other words. No, the yeah. message is there, but it's just in that one sentence. Uh, I want to, let's see, in the Beatles it would be, I would hold your hand, but the... KC it would be, uh, um, get down uh, that's tonight. the way I like that. That's the way, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you don't need any more yeah. lyric than that. Else. It's There's repeated <laughs> throughout the song. Yeah, right. so I fail to but see I love the message that. in that. Well, entertaining it, as heck. It I mean, worked yeah. uh, well. It worked for me because uh, I did a two-part show at the Tropicana on Blackstone, which isn't yeah. even there anymore. And the part I did was the show part with yeah. the with the music, but the band went on before me to yeah. do dance music, and good, then in between. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. Your question, sir, or uh, ma'am? Actually, it's Sorry. a statement. You guys were talking about the Beatles. Yeah, go ahead. They were more than a musical. Um, entity, what they were, they actually introduced Eastern cultural uh, philosophies to the West, which has continued to have impacts where now people are doing yoga in their 80s for their joints, things that were totally hmm. labeled the occult and demonic um, with our Western philosophies. We're now more open to meditation is now called mindfulness, 
biofeedback. Um, when they went to India and met Rabbi Shankar and did the live concert for yeah. Bangladesh, when they had the people were starving and they had, um, you know, the cyclones, whatever they call them, the, the torrential rains, the mud, the yeah. people were starving. Within two weeks, George Harrison got Leon Russell, Eric Clapton, uh, uh, several other musicians, plus the Indian musicians, and that started to transform this country's spiritual landscape. Yeah. That okay. is that is the lasting uh, legacy of the Beatles. It won't okay. be for I want to hold your hand or so. There is a deeper metaphysical thing um, okay. or, or spiritual thing. I appreciate your I appreciate your phone call very much. Uh, you agree with that? They changed uh, our country in a spiritual way. Well, not. Uh on the Ed Sullivan show in 64. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. We were I think it was more and more sh a shock later. As they the, go, yeah. uh, you grow in music just like you do in anything else. And what yeah. happens is after you, you have to actually become famous first to then play the kind of music you want to play. I each see. Each of the, end of the Beatles individually, as years went by, they went on to do the kind of music each of them personally would have liked to have done. Yeah. But they needed the vehicle of fame to be able to do the kind of music they each wanted to do. Yeah. John Lennon did a different kind of music than Paul McCartney, uh, whereas, which is odd in itself because most of their songs they collaborated on and wrote together. And yeah. uh, But later, they wanted a different sound. So did Ringo, so did George Harrison. And you know, every time I hear great lyrics, great mm -hmm. message, I mm -hmm. look at that and I go, you know, why didn't I think of that? I could have thought of those lyrics, but why, you know, but John thinking Lennon's of it first, best, yes. Thinking of it first, yes. being the first, right. is almost an impossible task. Yeah, I, I would have loved to have been John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Boy, his, his song yeah. Imagine and uh, yeah. so many of his songs are just yeah, well, the, the finest I've ever heard. Yeah, it's like when somebody has an idea about something, an right. invention. Why didn't I think of that? I but there is a message, you see. The message in, in Imagine. What's imagine, the message in your, uh, in your opinion? Uh, world peace and people, people living as one and getting along. Right, and um, that was extremely important during the powerful Vietnam War message. era. Yeah, yeah. during Very that era, powerful. it was so important, and that, that's why the song just hit home and hit a a, a moral code in people's uh, in their hearts, and they they felt comfortable with that kind of uh, music. You know, it's not only it was not only powerful then; it's powerful now. It's still powerful. Now, yes. Imagine, and it's you know, long after you and I are dead and gone. It, I mean, for it hundreds of years, yes. it'll stay there. That's right. the thing about music. Once that's you a well-written song, though. Yeah. yeah. A well-written song. Yeah. And that's what they did. They did write very, very good songs yeah. with a message. With a message. Yes. Jim Lyons is here. He's a song uh, writer. Well, you a songwriter, too? I'm a songwriter, He's of course. He's a songwriter, a singer, a pianist, an entertainer. He once played the guitar. You know, he can probably play any instrument. Me? I sing in the shower to myself. Nobody can hear that. 436 Me TV option 11. And turn down the sound when you call in. Thank you very much. From the pages of history and the untamed prairies of a young nation comes one of television's and America's most memorable folk heroes. was a man, just a big man. Well, you're Daniel Boone. Yep. Fast Parker stars as the legendary Daniel Boone with Ed Ames as his trusty sidekick, Mingo. Pleasure indeed. A Kentuckian named Daniel Boone. That's me. Watch Daniel Boone weekday mornings at 9, 8 central on MeTV. a phone call right off the bat. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me, and your question for our guest today is Jim Lyons. Go ahead. Hey, Jim, listen, I tell you, you look, uh, you and Johnny Mathis could really be on the road together. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you could go for his brother, but I, I think you have more potential. And that, Thank that, you. Listen, and listen, Jim, were you raised in the church with your singing? Was that right. a start? Yes. That's my first question. Oh, that's good. And then the second question, do you have CDs? I just have one. One. All it's right. available on YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Uh, and I'm sorry, I, I meant to say iTunes. Oh, iTunes. Yes. Okay, got it. 
Got it. If you don't okay. even know the name, just look for Jim Lyons. There's only one, apparently, that's famous. Right, right. <laughs> I know you're, you're a, <clears throat> you, you go back that's in funny. time, and I always remember you. And some, I'll be honest with you, I never, I never had the ability or able to visit you or hear you singing, and it mm. might happen soon. Well, very and nice. Thank keep you. Keep up the good work. I'm one of the uh, people that are little bit like to wannabes to see you sing. Yeah. And, uh, you. You, the timing's good from six to nine. That's a great time. Actually, yeah. it's uh, John. John uh, that's at the other place. I sing at Aria Restaurant, but from six to nine. But I sing at Palms from six thirty to nine thirty. Oh, six thirty every Friday. Night, but I had the, uh, yeah. the but you can show up at six and wait until six thirty. Well, you have to get there at six anyway. No, okay, <laughs> and, and I'm sure it's a no. full house usually. <laughs> so. Yeah. Hey, great questions. Two great questions. So, tell me about your church upbringing and how that got you into music and where. Well, uh, I, I, church upbringing was just because of my grandmother. In fact, she had one of those. She raised you. Well, no, uh, oh. but I visited her as often as possible yeah. because there was uh, too many children in the house. There weren't <laughs> that many over at her <laughs> house. <laughs> no, but she had a, one of those storefront churches, and uh, oh. I went every every Sunday. And that's where you learn how to sing. Well, I learned how to sing. Uh, a song like In the Garden and Old Rugged Cross and um, How Great Thou Art, uh, a lot of those songs. Uh, when uh, did you realize you had the voice? Because you still, I mean, I can realize. Well, never really. I never realized I had a voice for singing. I sang here in Fresno for the first time uh, for the Fresno Falcon, uh, the hockey people. Yeah down on the rink when when someone uh, couldn't make it one night. I was the substitute singer. That one hockey game back in 1974, or three, I think it was, it spawned the entire career. Here and in actually, Fresno? Right here in Fresno. Yeah. I, and, I didn't sing before so what coming to Fresno. At that, after that? Well, I got booked for weddings. I used to play for $50 and all the cake and champagne I could eat and right, drink. Right. And that was about it. And the wedding spawned other things and next thing like you know. baptisms yeah. and uh, bar mitzvahs. And I and sang all. at funerals too. At a lot funerals. of funerals. Oh, yes. And uh, my name just spread around just strictly word of mouth. I wasn't performing anywhere. In fact, th that isn't what I did for a living. I was a medical transcriptionist at the time. And uh, You were a paralegal? And then I was a paralegal. And I did both of those jobs for about 15 years each. And, yeah. Uh, but it was strictly uh, word of mouth. You didn't strictly advertise. did not advertise. Tell me the places you've played besides uh, the two oh, that you just mentioned The here. list is endless. Uh, you tell me, you cut me off any time. Back in the old days, most of these places don't even exist in Fresno anymore. Yeah. The Tropicana, Sue Ann Burge had a place called Sutton's on Shaw. Um, I played, of course, down at the Hilton, which is no longer the Hilton. It's the Holiday Inn now yeah, on the ninth yeah. floor, the Sky Room. And I understand that's back open again, by the way. Um, oh, up there on the, yes, what is it, the ninth, the ninth floor. The ninth floor, yeah. Yeah. But uh, that was a lot of trouble getting on and off the elevator. In fact, on the elevator one day is when I met Johnny Mathis. He was here in Fresno really? playing over it. Yes, he was at the William Saroyan Theater one night. And, uh, I bet that was a thrill. I got on the elevator to go. I didn't notice whether it was up or down the arrows. I just wanted an elevator. And when I got on, he was going down to uh, the first floor to get in his limousine and go over to the William Saroyan Theater. I said... After a few blank moments, I just said, hi. <laughs> I didn't know what else to how say. Did it, how did it go? That was it? That was about it. One wow. word, hi. <laughs> did he say hi back? Uh, I, I think he did. He really mumbled. <laughs> I think yeah. it was a hi. He probably just, you know, he, he wanted to be incognito. He, he, I think you know. when the door was closing, I said, come up to the ninth floor when your show is over. Because we played till midnight. Yeah. And yeah. I had a band that then. One guy I had a chance to meet in person and talk to and shake his hand, the nicest guy, and I think he passed away. What did you think of Lou Rawls? Lou Rawls, I saw him twice in concert. Uh, I think both times were here in Fresno. Yeah. Um, I thought a lot of him, I, I, um, I liked his velvet coats he wore all the time, and I liked his velvet voice. I only do one Lou Rawls song. Can I tell you my Lou Rawls story? No. <laughs> I was working at a station in Sacramento, and I was just a young kid, and he was coming up to see the entertainment reporter, and there was this two flights of stairs that you go down and up to go to the newsroom. And I was going down. I was kind of rushing down, and I wasn't paying attention. And I passed him, and he said, excuse me, young man. And I, and I looked. I almost fell down the stairs. I said, hey. You're Lou Rawls. I said, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's my Lou Rawls story. But, I mean, it's, it's talking to him was, I was in awe. You know, I was just in awe of him. His voice, just a, a normal speaking voice. 
Amazing. Uh, yeah, he uh, his uh, well, the resonance in his voice and everything was very natural, yeah. and that's why he sold so many uh, albums. His uh, his voice was was natural, and it fit the type of music that he was doing. One of the best, would you say? I would say he was definitely one of the best. Yeah, one yeah. of the best. Marvin Gaye was one of the best, also. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people like that. Um, they they influence your singing. Yet I don't even have right now a favorite singer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, or now you grew up where? Kansas City. I was born in Kansas City. Born. Okay. But that's about the end of it. I my dad was uh, in the army, and we were military brats. We were called dependents. Okay. And we just traveled to wherever he traveled. He was an attaché for a general. So he traveled extensively. Yeah. Some of the assignments around the world, we could go on. Sometimes we couldn't go. I want to show a video clip of uh, Jim Lyons and then go to break after that. Here he is uh, at his best. Not that he isn't today, but here <laughs> it is. <laughs> the first electric refrigerator, the first compact electric range. Now, there's the Frigidaire Gallery Range with Symmetry Double Ovens. It's designed to cook multiple dishes at multiple temperatures so you can prepare the entire meal at the same time. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. We're talking with the one and only Jim Lyons. He's a singer. He's an entertainer. Very soothing voice. A great guy. Looks like a million bucks. We've got a call here. Whoops, we did. Sorry about that. If you want to call in, be patient. 436-MeTV, option 11. And so, you know, what's happened to music today, in your opinion? Because I look at the rap. I look at a guy like LL Cool J, who's not only an actor, he's a singer. What do you think has happened? I, I, I don't think we have the, the same type of singers and entertainers that we once did, in my opinion. Am I wrong about uh, that? No, I, I don't think we do either, but everything is extremely uh, digital and commercial. Everything is um, repetitive, and there's too many artists now in the field. Um, okay, that, what about Bruno Mars, halftime oh, of the Super Bowl? That, no, that's genuine talent. Yeah. Everything about Bruno Mars is, is uh, if you read his recent bio, right. his biography of, of what he went through to even get noticed, let alone to great become talent? Uh, absolutely a great talent. And it's all genuine. One There's of the nothing best manufactured. since when, in your opinion? Since well, who, who does he remind since, you of? Since uh, the last talent of his nature would be Michael Jackson. Yeah. That would be the last time we had someone. That we have so many of these uh, pretentious performers. They're, 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 a, they're a formula. Now, he performed with who at the Super Bowl? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Red Hot Hot Chili Chili Peppers. Peppers. Okay, yeah. they weren't plugged in. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that bother you? Uh, it does bother me. It bothers me when people lip sync. It bothers me when uh, performers do anything that's not genuine on stage. If, for example, if I was Janet Jackson and I'm suspended from a, a rope or something, and I really couldn't sing in that way, then I shouldn't, I shouldn't be moving my lips and singing because, right. you know, the, the, the air, I can't, I can't actually breathe upside down properly to sing. Things like that, uh, they, so they do bother me. So don't try to deceive me. the public. Right. Yeah. They don't mind if you You'll don't never sing during this Elvis part. Elvis or the Beatles do that, would you? No. 
No, it cannot be nothing about performing as far as I'm concerned personally and professionally. Nothing can be imitation. Yeah. I, I, like, I like the pure sound and, and I like a genuine performance and I don't like any part of it um, to be artificial. Yeah, I love Bruno Mars. That was a great. I mean, that was better than the game itself. Way better than yeah, the game. Who, who was that group? Uh, Mindy Van, Van, Vanelli, Mini Vanelli. Vanelli Vanelli. That was the biggest yeah. blow up of all time. <laughs> the lip syncing. You're yeah, talking we've about. had. Uh, you know, Britney Spears has done it since then, and who's that? A other number of others. Uh, yeah, a number. So a many of them. A number of others. But they don't have control. I will say this in their defense, though. In um, major production things and things that appear on uh, television and concerts. They don't really have any say about that. Yeah, yeah. Do we have another clip of Jim? Yeah, let's run that right now. We'll talk about it okay. on the other side here. So that was you performing where? Uh, that was at Slate's. Okay. I believe All that right. was at Slate's uh, where that took place. When people listen to mm -hmm. Jim Lyons, mm -hmm. what do you want them to take away from your singing and entertaining? Because obviously you're a very talented guy. Well, thank you. But I, what I like them to do is, in a, in a total, usually I perform at night, in the evening, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I just want people to that little bit of time that they're able to slice out of their life for their own personal good times, if you will, uh, enjoyment of music being one of them. Uh, music has been the thing since uh, the days of Caesar. That's what they want, the, the loot. It was just uh, yeah. the performer was always, even in uh, bad times, even in times of the Depression, the one media that that continues it's always the entertainment yeah it's music in, music and so I just want them to have a few minutes even if they're visiting and they're not really even paying attention to me <coughs> I I like them to feel uh, relaxed for a while have a nice weekend usually I perform on weekends and uh, just uh, you know carry away the the idea I do want them to want to come back Right. So I want to reach them enough that they say, well, I like that, I enjoyed that, and you know what? I'm going to go listen again. I know you're, you don't have a piano here, but can uh -huh. you sing a few bars of something just so we get a taste of live, you know, live? <laughs> I want that live feeling. Oh. Anything you want. Well, I'd say, well, it's, um, <coughs> it's uh, Valentine's Day got coming up. seconds. And, well, let's see. Uh, uh, the most beautiful sound in the world. I have ever heard Maria, 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 all the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. Maria, 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 Maria. Tremendous. Jim Lyons, thank you so much. I wish thank I had you. a voice like that. I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> thank you very much. The one and only Jim Lyons. You can catch him, of course, at the Palms every Friday night, 6.30 to 9.30. Our thanks for his time and effort here today on Connect With Me. We're back with another edition of our show on MeTV Fresno tomorrow.
Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Frigidaire Gallery Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. You with me? Right now get huge savings on select Frigidaire Gallery appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months at the hometown low price think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place.